Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to BuzzBaits Linux Things. Um, somebody suggested that my video on how to enable um, the cube on Linux Mint 18, I think it was 18.2, anyway, somebody commented that it was hard for me, for them, to read the small print. So I made that video on a 24 inch monitor, so if, I suppose if he's watching on his phone, that might be a, a big difference. And anyway, so here I have uh, the command on the screen. And actually, as large as the text will let me go, um, yeah, you increase it, increase the font size. That's as big as it'll go. So, but what it does say is compiz with a space and then two dashes and replace. So comp is space dash dash replace. That's the command you're going to need to type into the terminal up there. So you would type in comp is space dash dash r-e-p-l-a-c-e and you would hit enter and then it would activate comp is if you do not already have it activated. The other things I do before I do that so I'm going to backtrack a little bit. And I apologize for that. But what I do is go to the Compiz Setter. Settings Setter. We're going to talk about Irish Setter. We're going to talk about dogs here. Come on. Okay, so never mind. Up here, the first thing I do, I'm running Linus Mate 18.2. So I uncheck the uh, GNOME compatibility and check the Mate compatibility. Actually, you just check the, the Mate. It will ask you if you want to disable the GNOME compatibility. And so you just click on Yes. Like I say, my cube is already act activated. You can see I got the wobbly windows. And by hitting Control, Alt, and the left mouse, you can see I've got my cube activated. I've tweaked it a little bit. I've got wallpapers on it, and I've got cube caps turned on and I'll show you how to do how to do those or where to find those settings so but scrolling down to the desktop cube first thing I'm going to do is something that you didn't see that I don't have activated right now and that is the appearance the sky dome okay so I want to find a picture for sky dome I'm going to click on this little file thing here we're going to browse our pictures so browsing my pictures, looking for a folder to use for my Sky Dome. And let's go back. I want to find a wallpaper one. That'll be good. So now that picture is on my Sky Dome image. So when I use the cube, you'll see it in the background. Before I didn't have anything, now you've got a picture in the background. Pretty interesting to work with. So let's see here. General, I don't change anything of this. I don't change anything of that. Um, you can go to the inside of the cube. makes it very interesting my wife gets vertical this would not help her um, yeah so we don't want to leave that like that the cube in general does not help her anyway <laughs> just a little side note there I'm gonna go back here and when you first enable the cube it's gonna be pretty large so when you want to make it smaller, go to the Rotate Cube section. And, it, and under the Zoom, you have this setting here. You can change the size of the cube. But when you first enable it, it's set at default like that. I'm going to even click on the default. And it sets it to zero. And it's very large. So when you use it, it's like, like your full screen. So... I don't like it that size. 
A lot of times I'll zoom it as full as it will go. Excuse me. It's late and I've just got out of work. So, well, I got out of work an hour ago or so. Maybe two. So, anyway, I'm going to make the cube a little bit larger for the video purpose. And going at one half, halfway of zoom. And you can see that pretty good. So let's go back. So that shows you where how to adjust the size of the cube. So if you don't like it full screen like I don't, you can change the size of it. Now on the uh, cube, if you have 3D windows enabled with no sphere or a cylinder, if you're not using those, you can see the 3D windows shoot right off the side of the cube, right out there in the space. Like, pretty cool when you turn it. Um, another thing it can do is, when you take the windows, it will kind of wrap them around the corners of the cube. And if you drag it, it'll cross the cube. But I don't want to go all the way across. I'm still working with the 3D windows here. And you can see they kind of wrap around the corners of the cube. So, but I'm going to put them back in the center. And I am going to disable the 3D windows. Under cube reflection and deformation, when you first turn this on, oh, I don't want to, you're going to see the cube caps are very generic this is what you get when you first turn it on the cube caps look like this and so I've added pictures and you always have to move them up when you add a picture and I'll show you how to do that but cube caps look a little different now I've added pictures in there so that's great let's add another picture so you click on new and then again you're gonna browse for a picture and I'll go to my fractals and if I want to change, change that picture on the top, I can change it like, like going into anything you want. And that was kind of a neat one. And I close this. And may, remember, you have to move it up. It has to be the one on top. So you can have as many pictures there as you want, but the only the top one's going to display. And I've changed it to the, to the green one. The bottom one still hasn't changed. We haven't done anything with the bottom one. Again, click the new pictures. Pick up some fractals. I made these fractals myself using GIMP um, for what that's worth. Now let's see. I'm trying to find, find that same one I had before. What's the name of it? Deep green. Okay, so I got to find that one. Okay. I'll close it. Then it adds it into the list. Move it up. And now you can see that I have the same picture on the bottom and the top for my cube caps. So the cube caps are enabled. I've got those pictures there right now. But if I want to go back to my other ones, I can select them and move it up. Again, same thing on the bottom one. Move it up. And I'm going to go back to the blue and the green one that I had earlier. All right. So I showed you how to find your your cube caps and change the pictures there. Um, very much like doing the sky dome picture. Under reflection and deformation, I'm going to go over to deformation. Okay, so now let's say I want to do the sphere. Let me see here. I think when you first enable this, the sphere you get an aspect ratio of zero and it comes out very very oblong 
So you can change it to seven or eight. You can you can change it to a custom setting. I like it so it looks more like a ball, I guess. And not so oblong. One makes it oblong the other way. And that worked pretty nice. So seven, eight, or nine, usually pretty close to the ballpark. But if you go to one, it starts getting it starts getting a little skinnier in the set on the sides there. Okay, so that's how you do that. If you click on deform caps with the sphere. You just get something like that. I like to have them so it looks like a ball. The reflection above, what that does is it makes that bottom reflecting ball go underneath and hide. You don't have to have it that way. You can put jumpy and then it looks like one's just rolling on top of the other one. Jumpy reflection. It seems to let you roll the ball a little bit farther with the mouse or the touchpad in my case. And I may as well look at the other one, the distance. Maybe it looks like, I don't know, if it's a little different. I don't see anything different for the distance one. Um, maybe I'm not using the right settings with it. I haven't tweaked with that a whole lot or worked with it a whole lot, obviously, or I wouldn't know. Um, we talked about the size. We talked about 3D windows. We talked about cube reflection, window decoration. You might need that sometime. Uh, sometimes if you don't use window decoration, I've lost the borders around the windows. And they had to come in there and check windows decoration to get them back. So that can uh, be very frustrating when you don't have your buttons up there in the corner of the window to close and minimize or maximize. Uh, let's see the wallpapers. Again, very much like uh, changing the cube caps or the sky dome. You just click on new and you can put a new wallpaper in there but I like the ones I've got but that's where you go to set that up so you're gonna go to uh, the wallpaper and you're gonna enable that that way you can get a different wallpaper on each side of the cube that one's different that one's different that one's different so you can do that and like I say to activate the cube with the keyboard and mouse um, control, Alt, and then the left mouse key. And if you're holding Control and Alt, hit the left mouse. That the cube gets, the cube shows up on the screen. And then if you move the mouse or rub the touchpad, scroll across the touchpad, I guess, whatever you want to call it. That's how you turn it. Or you can hold down the left arrow, and it'll turn really fast. That was pure luck that it landed back on my screen that I was using. So, um, just so you know, I couldn't have done that probably three times in a row at all. But with that, I think I've covered just about everything there is to, to do, except for going to the control center. So you, you turn down your cube and you want to make sure that it comes up the next time you boot your computer. You go to start up applications. Now I've added one here. You'll have to click add and you'll add something like this. And this is how I edit mine. And it says compiz. And then I have the same command that you use on the uh, terminal. The compiz space dash dash replace. And you just click on save it. Or you could cancel in my case, but I'm just going to click on save and let it go back. But you would click add, and then that's what you would fill it in with. 
can put compiz on top. You can put anything there you want. You could put cube, but you have to put the command compiz space dash dash replace in where it says command right there. So you have to do that. No two ways about it. Otherwise, you won't have it work at all. Uh, you could name it, name it anything you want up there. You can comment anything you want, but yeah, you have to save that as or that command that you would enter into into the uh, terminal to activate the cube. So, hopefully, this has helped. Somebody said they uh, had a hard time seeing what I was doing on the screen, and I just wanted to see if I could make a video out there and give them a little bit more help. And like I say, I, I, I watched this on my desktop with three 24-inch monitors and the screen size and text is, never looks too small. So, um, not on a screen that size, but I mean, I was able to read it on my phone. I watched a video on my phone. I was able to read it, admittedly, not very easily, but then again, I am an old man with glasses too. So, anyway, um, I, I just thought I'd throw this out there and put it out there that, you know, so I talked about it, give you a narrative video like the guy requested, um, like the gentleman requested that made a comment on my other video. So, for that matter, maybe I talked too much, but I'm going to sign out. Guys, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, please comment. I'm still kind of working on improving the videos but try to get better as I go so anyway thank you very much for watching thanks for watching buzzbaits Linux things